Hello my lovelies! So I'm going to be doing a review today on a daily planner. Um, I told you guys I would do this when I got this daily planner a year and a half ago and I thought I would do it. It's not necessarily, you know, a typical video I do, but let's see how this goes and see if you guys like it. So thumbs up if you like it. So, um, day planners just in general are the most helpful thing in the world, especially when you're in college. Taking down assignments and different things is so important. Um, for me, it especially is important with getting specific information. Like if you're in class and you your teacher's talking about an assignment and you want to jot down notes about it, you can jot down it in here instead of your regular notebook because it's kind of hard to find later. You have to sift through the notes and find that specific assignment section that you're you're writing about. So. It's really great for that and for just writing down assignments and just and appointments and um, if you if you're a person like me and finals come along it's really great to schedule out your whole finals week and decide when you're gonna study decide when you're gonna do things and this particular one it was really good for lists and I'll show you guys that in a minute but anyway so this has lasted so long I am very happy about this product I got it at Barnes & Noble. This is not sponsored at all, although I would love it. Barnes & Noble, you should totally sponsor me. Um, but it's, um, the brand is Cali Leather Main. Um, and, but yeah, I just got it at Barnes & Noble, and it's just a big desk planner, and it's, it's wonderful. I really love it, and the a big thing that I like about it is that it's so bendable. Like, you can just, like bend it and whatever and the spine is still in really great shape and it's just it's really great I love it and um and I've doodled all over it and I've done all this crazy stuff to it and it's still it's still alive I'm amazed after all this time so the setup of this is you have the year in review basically so you have the year and all the months and just all the days and I used this just um, to mark off the days just to cross them off when they were done and also um, to mark certain other things on here that I won't go into <laughs> and then after that a couple pages later you just have the month and then you have the days so it breaks it down into the days so you can write down birthdays and different appointments and different things you have um, so that was really nice to have. You can't write a ton of notes on here or anything, but it's nice to just be like, but like, like right here it says House of Blood, because the House of Blood book came out. Um, so that's really nice, like if you have like, if you just want to write down quickly like, art paper is due on this day, or this paper is due, then you can, you can definitely do that in here, and I, I really like that. Um, and then, so that goes on, you know, obviously until December of this year and then it goes into the weeks itself so on this side it has the week um, in like the days and then it has a blank space so um, you can write down this says a.m. and then p.m. so if you want to write like things you're doing specifically that day and what time you can and then you can write other stuff over here and that's been the most helpful thing I think in this whole um, book um, so like like this okay so this side I barely did anything this week um, but then this side it just has lit I like I could write lists of things I needed things I needed to buy um, homework assignments and I would break the homework assignments down into like little parts or like to-do lists um, or really anything anything you wanted I, I could put in here and that was really great to have that space um, I definitely utilized it, even if it was just for doodles. <laughs> um, that it really helped, um, helped me like with like writing down books I needed for like college and different um, classes and different things like that, and um, everything. And then on the back, in the back, it has area codes, which I never used. Actually, that is the one thing I never used area, the area codes or the international dialing. I, I never used that. I mean, it's interesting to have, but I never needed it. Um, and then there's a whole section, actually, which was really cool, of world maps. And I, I doodled, like, all over it, and I think it's really cool, actually. It's got little circles, as you can see. Um, 
but it has like the map of the United States and then it goes into you know Canada and South America and Europe and everything like that and it's really cool um, just to look at and see and if you're planning something like a trip or something that kind of deal and then I just got more doodles on the back because I'm that person but this was a really great book and I loved it a lot um, I would totally recommend getting it if they still have them. I haven't, um, I got a new one, but they didn't have this kind there at the time. I wonder, they said they might get it in stock, but they're not sure. Um, so we'll see. But I got this one this year, and this is what I'll be reviewing for 20, just when this is just 2016. Um, and it's smaller, and it's, it still is flexible, but it, like, just has a cover on it. Like, it's just a leather cover. And then it's just normal on the inside. But um, what I like about this is um, it has the normal um, month calendar, which is great. And then, but then it has like each day has a full page, and um, and everything. I also really like it has like perforated edges. So like you see that little circle there, so you can rip off the corners, so you know exactly where you are, which I really like. Um, so I'll have to review this next time. But overall, really like this. Oh, and it has a little thing. I totally forgot about that. It has a little thing you can put on certain days, um, like a little bookmark. So this was really helpful this past two years. I totally recommend it, buying it if they still have it. Um, it's been through a lot, as you can tell. Um, that's just, um, lipstick that got in my bag and got all over my bag fun. Um, so yeah, so I totally recommend it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely give us a, a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!